Yeah, <laughs> believe it. Do I want to what? Uh, do you want to try to do your greedy, the greedy video? Yeah, we can. Where you walking? Do you do one? Well, it's when I'm in my full swimsuit. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get that at the end. Then. Yeah, you get that after I get okay. uh, spray tanning. Yeah. 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 Stop eating for a second. Okay, when I say turn, just kind of turn at me slowly. Turn. Okay, you're good. Okay. Okay. You can just text me. You can take more footage if you want. You're welcome. It's okay. You mean get you before you work here? Whatever you want to do. I got a tripod too. I like help. You like help? If I want one? You want me to? I'm going to borrow the tripod if you want to set your phone up. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay for now. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got time, man. I need my lunch 20 minutes later. I did it to my bed. I know where I'll be. You get your hair done and then you can just are you gonna stay back here or you come back outside? Um I might go out to take some pictures or videos okay. out in the sun. Yeah. Just let me know. Yeah. I guess we'll go sit um, and watch yeah. some. Essentially I want I'm gonna be out in the audience at one to watch to cheer on classmates. So the first um, of this group is at one. What was that? The first of this the group is at one. Yeah, okay. they go on at one, I think. Or she goes on at one. The lineup is somewhere. It's somewhere posted back here. I'm sorry, let me know if I'm moving too much. Oh, no, you're good. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're just going to let me know, and then I'll just try to get content. Okay. And then I can just drop that into your coach. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Is she? That's she, she over. She should be Well, you can ask for her number. So when they call her number. Because it's the girl in the ponytail. I forgot her name. I just forgot it. Oops. Oh, oh, Crystal's coming. I'll be back in a minute. I brought my laptop in. <laughs> You're always going to be working. Yeah. Hello. Erica, here I come. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize you're getting me shoveling fish into my mouth. <laughs> All right, about, don't worry, I'm about to uh, edit it. Okay. Mm -hmm.
show. Hmm. This is my very first. Oh, no. First time. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why. Um, I got two guys in case. I think that I'm pretty sure that's why Coach wanted me to come here to get my hair done so I can get the full effect. But it's like. Are you on the um, group on Facebook? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Good. Well, you know, I'm going to be posting you. Yes, ma'am. And whenever you okay. get over this high, all right? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> then we, I would love to interview you on that group. Yeah. No, I would love Just to. Just to talk about your first time because, experience. Yes, and I told Coach, I was like, I want to type something up because me coming in and asking all these questions it felt pretty invasive. Like, people were kind of mean. Right. There was one person that sat there and said, Oh, I would, I, I want to do this competition. I would wait a little bit. I was like, Why would you say that to somebody? One, you don't know how when they don't even say nothing. Yeah, you're not gonna be encouraging. Why say anything? Right. Because you don't know where they started, where you don't they're know coming what's from. With them. Exactly. Definitely mentally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's mental with everything, really. It is. You just don't know what a person is. I mean, it's 2023. Like you just can't. No. You know what I mean? You can't just be that person saying, right. saying stuff. Right. I mean. I don't. I didn't care because I was like, well, you don't know me. My coach thinks I'm looking great. People think I'm looking great. I lost 18 pounds and I had abs basically for the first time in my life. That's an accomplishment to me. Like, right, it is. I got it my is. I got my 20 year old body back. Right. And I'm gonna be with you, with you on that. I'm trying to get my video. It's hard. It's very hard because I'm 50. <laughs> you even look like you're 50. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's my new coach is my daughter. And I love you know, so trust me. I know her. I'm mm. her worst customer. <laughs> like I said, that's all I, I can relate to the fish. Oh, um, Crystal. We on fish right now, too. My, my wife, Crystal, the little short. I don't know if you saw her, but she's a little short girl wearing the Ivy part. When we was outside? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, this is my wife, yeah. Okay, good. Um, yeah. She hates that fish smell. She well, can't. Look at you. I would have thought that. <laughs> look at you. Oh, girl. You're so spicy. You know I am. <laughs> like, I look at her, I go, I don't know what she saw in me because I was worse than Goodwill. Fine. <laughs> she goes, I, I don't know either. Okay. You're spicy. I love it. Mm -hmm. She literally brought me from the depths of worse than ashes. That's beautiful. Yes. That you, you know, have fine love to do that. Mm -hmm. and I, that's what love is. Well, it I, should make you feel better. Oh, and she makes me feel so happy all the time. Even though we get on each other's nerves. Love should make you feel better. Um, I tell people all the time, I think I wished her into existence. Okay, but affirmations. No, I, no, that is true. Um, I really do believe that because I'll just tell you how, how I why I do this. So I come from a very white suburbia, desperate housewife. If you are not white and you walk into that neighborhood, the cops are probably getting good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like, yeah, I want to hear this. So I lived with my mom though, but my dad lived in that type of neighborhood, and I really idolized my dad and my dad's side of the family because that's who I saw all the time. Well, I got older and I realized, okay, so things don't seem right. This doesn't seem like normal life. Yeah. Like, and then it, I, else out there. Mm -hmm. and what really got me saying that is I'll never forget it I was on a boat mm -hmm. with my one uncle and he goes what is that in here what is that I was like what's what what is that thing that rod I was like what rod he goes that rod in your ear what is that I go oh it's a piercing he goes oh if my daughter's got more than just her ears I'm just out of the house oh your dad said it my uncle to me to my face yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then, um, so I was like, okay, all right, I see where you're coming from. Right. So
so. You know what? I want something different. Yes. If they feel like I'm in the salon. There you go. Um, so every night I would step outside and if I remember to which was very was which is all the time very rarely did I forget mm -hmm. I would look up at this, the very first star I would see in the sky I would do Starlight's Heart by the first star I see tonight wish my wish tonight first star I see tonight and I would make a wish I would kiss my fingertips I'll look up to that star and then I do Father Son the Holy Ghost and I put my hands together and pray and I go please Lord that's the one that and, pray to. Mm -hmm. And I wish for someone different, <laughs> someone unique, someone that understands me, somebody that is some, somebody that is a person of what I least expect. Right. Right. I asked right. for that all the time and I meant it through the depths of my soul. Right. Then came me thinking, oh, I'm going to have babies one day. Okay. Well, if I have a baby girl, what would I name them and a baby boy? I kid you not, I fell in love with the name Crystal. Crystal? Yes. Oh, yeah. I fell in love with that name, and I was just like, I told my mom all the time, Mom, my first baby girl is going to be named Crystal. I told her and everybody else that. I said that even through college. I said this for like 15 years. And then before I know it, Crystal messages me on a uh, plenty of fish. Her name is Crystal. And her name is Crystal. Oh, wow. She messages me. I see her. Ready? It took me either three days or three weeks to me message her back. But this will show you how close minded my family got. I looked at her profile picture and I was like, oh, you're black. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll, you know, but why not? You know, I'm open to it. And then I noticed she had cornrows. Right. And I'm like, uh, it's a style, okay. I, I can, I can, <laughs> kind of, but I was like, I can work with this. Okay. And then I thought she was in the military. And okay. I go, oh, so you couldn't hack college. Mm -hmm. So you went the military route. Right, right, right. Um, I could never be so wrong in my life. No, she did go to college. Okay. She got two bachelor degrees. She, some people get the misconception. Yes. She went to military. You're going to love this. She got an associate's, two bachelor's, and a master's. She could have graduated two years early, but she stayed because she wanted to play basketball. So she double majored. She only, she only went into the army to go into the, to the physician assistant school. Right. So she's basically, she's a primary care doctor. Wow. Yeah, I could never be so wrong. But see, that's, that's the world. They, not you, but just people. They judge people they don't even know. It's a big Yeah. The love of your life. Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody, I was like, I wish her existence by just telling everybody in the depths of my soul that I want you my big girl to be Crystal. And I was dating guys at the time. That's the funny part. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Here's another thing. I've always known, but because my oh, family is all about somebody. like male and female. Yes. yes. They're like male and female, male and female. And I was like, okay. And the white picket fence. Yeah. Throw it all in the garbage. And I'm in the garbage with that. She flipped the script. Mm -hmm. And I also told myself when I moved to Tennessee, I was going to try dating guys. Hello. I'm so glad you were able to be Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Because you met her. Are you excited? Is that a white thing? I'm excited. I'm sorry. I keep moving, wiggling my head. You're good. You're good. I have a lot of baby hairs. Tiana? Okay. One too many. She never showed me how 
she wanted my hair. I got you. You took my coat, your coat? Uh-huh. I got you. You know. We work together. She oh, I know. Told me. <laughs> she, she's like, no, I'm going to be there for your hair because I know what I want. She already told me. I don't, I don't know what it is. She's fancy. Body wave. My daughter got it for me for Mother's Day. Ooh. <laughs> she's at um, So, so I told myself when I moved to Tennessee, I never want, I, I don't want to date guys anymore. Okay. But I've always known I've liked women. Okay. Okay. And everybody asks me this question always is, well, when did you know? And I'm like, kindergarten. They're like, you could not have known then. I was like, um, but you, when you got people tell, around you telling you that's not it. I might go a little TMI here, but I don't care because I'm open about my life. Right. I was like, you're telling me, me in kindergarten, I, I wouldn't be able to know this? I'm like, no. I'm like, okay, then why don't you go tell my kindergarten herself, who with Annie Miller would get butt naked and we would lay on top of each other, not realizing what it is that we were doing. I like it. Wait, what was that? She said, start watching time. Start. Watch for, the time. For, Don't worry about it. For, for what? Oh, okay. I'm like, for what? Yeah, they did. Um. They're just coming like one year. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, just lead me where I need to go. I got you. We got you. We more than just oh. hair and culture. Yeah. Well, we can actually come to the show. Yeah. We do it all. We go through the process. So. So look, Krisha, she owns a pageant. I don't know if you knew that or not. Which one? The pretty one that was in here. Okay. She owns a pageant. Okay, very good. That's why she was asking me all those questions, because she knows how to advertise. She knows how to promote yeah. people. Is she here in Atlanta? Uh, she's in Atlanta. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, she lives out in Atlanta. Probably 20 minutes away from Atlanta. Okay. And what? I'm gonna say fuckhead. Anyways, um, yeah. So she does pageants. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, now I do. Now I do. And uh, I'm on the yeah. I'm on the board. So we're on like the pageant board, if you will. Like I did it behind the stage. Like I. I personally work with the judges, so when they come, I greet them, I put them into an isolated room because they're not allowed to see the queens or, or talk to them at all because they have to interview them. So they can't have pre-engagement. So I have to escort them to a private room and then escort them to the pageant area. Okay. I have to tally up all the, their queens' numbers, deliver them to Lucretia. Okay. That's pretty cool. Like, there's a bunch of other stuff that I do, but I'm also one of the people that tries to help gather the queens up and tell them where to go and it's for this and that. Yeah. So I know all the behind the scenes stuff, just mm -hmm. not this side. And it feels very different because I feel like I'm out of control, but I don't have control and I it's like control. Okay. You, you fine. You fine. <laughs> I'm like, where's the control? Oh. Uh -huh. I was like, you do get a lot of dark. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you come to the polls again? Did you come to the polls again? The polls include no. Okay. All these ladies come to the polls. Okay. That's how I know. Okay. Okay. I was wondering. I was like, this person knows a lot of people. Well, they just go to a lot of shows, I assume. My daughter is very popular in this business. That's how I got behind stage. I've been doing here for 36 years. She told me. And she got me backstage doing here because she got connections all the way from Florida, Maryland, everywhere. I've, I've noticed. So she hosts public clinics all over the world. I was like, you need to come to Tennessee. Now she, now she, now she has a reason. I'm in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, Tennessee would be good. Hi, Queen. You look pretty. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Mama? Good. You look good. Oh, you're fine. So, okay. Uh, uh, what did your, you know I'm curious from this story. What did your father or that uncle friend do when they know that's home? Oh, God. They, they got to meet her. They what? They, they did get to meet her on the 4th of July. Okay. <laughs> One year. They, they were, I mean... Nice. They were nice, you okay. know. They were hospitable and, and everything. Yeah. But you could tell that it wasn't like... Like, you always got a sheep in the family. Yeah. <laughs> it's yes. always going to be a sheep in the family. <laughs> and the funny thing is it's hard not to like her. Right. It's really hard That's not to. She has when that mentality. When you're likable, it's can't be beat. Yeah. She Even is if you so don't like a person, if they likable, oh, yeah. you can't help it. You can't help it. I don't care what you want, you can't help it. What's up, ladies? Hey. Oh. Are you doing pregnant like yo? Yeah, she's getting big. Yeah, oh, that's right, that's right. More than just yes. you're a therapist. Yeah. But I love it because you know it's just, life is beautiful. You can do all walks of life. Yes. And I just love people. I love my job. I love that I get to do that. You know? And I love to transform. Yes. But most of all, just the connecting that I love. Always when you find something that you like doing. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah, 
I'm sorry. I love rice cakes with peanut butter and honey, and I'm looking at that going, that looks so much better than that, what I'm allowed to have. I know how to eat. This whole thing has been a struggle for me. That's why I'm taking the ones I'm taking. I had to detach myself from eating certain foods. And for me, you know, my mom was very sensitive. So for me, it's like, you know, those feelings. Yes. And the food is the go-to. Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I, I do, I do. And so it's, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad through this experience here, I'm being in, on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow. so, I have to up every day. Like, okay, that we need a day. I'm not beating myself up because mm -hmm. I already know what I'm mentally going through. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's hard. Certain people, certain people you lose your life, it's hard. Yeah. Especially those ones who were, you know, in your life, detrimental to your life. Mm -hmm. So that's my um, long thing for me, taking so long. But I'm, I came down like 80 pounds. And Good job. I'm not going to give up on oh, that. No. Because for me, it's forever. Yes. Like, whatever pounds that I lose, I say it's the past being erased. There you go. Because I gave weight because of the wrong reasons. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. Stress, and, and you aggravation, like hurt, pain. Yes. Every pound is that dropping off of me. Yes, and with those, with all that being dropped off, it's like you're building into a new you. You're shredding, you're shredding, shredding the old skin. You're coming out of your cocoon. Yes. You're in a cocoon, you're like, now you're, you're coming out. You're sore, and yes. you just go into the new skin, and you come into the new skin. Yes. So, I don't need my husband. Like, y'all have competition, y'all actually have a deadline. I ain't got no Yes. Yes. It's hard. Every day I wake up so cool. Two hours. Mm -hmm. But I like outside and I like outdoors. And so in my neighborhood, it's like I found this little hit gym. Yeah. Nothing yeah. but trees. And so. So you got a beautiful scene. I got a reason to go more. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how you feel you don't want to see people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to see the neighbors. I'm saying hi to everybody. That messes up my neck. That messes up my walk. Oh gosh, I hate it when I run. That's how people go to the gym because they don't want to see nobody. So I found this meet in gym and I'm just so excited. I'm the type of person where I'm just like, do you see my headphones in my ear? Leave me alone. <laughs> that don't even work. That no. don't work for some people. So I used to do heavy lifting. Like we're talking heavy lifting now. I'm now when I try and lift the heavy weights I used to lift, I'm like, how in the world did I do that? Wow. Um, and when I got to the peak of it all, I had guys all the time coming up to me, young and old, especially old, going, "Are you are you guys competing for something? Are you a competitor?" And I'm like, "No, I'm doing this for fun." Right. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just like lift in, like picking a bar up off the floor, throwing it onto my shoulders. Like, I was doing about 150 pounds in there. I was deadlifting. I was deadlifting over. 200 pounds, back spine close to 200. <laughs> but the funny thing, I didn't look like it. Here, let me see if I can find it. I did not look like it. I kid you not. And that's the crazy part, is I did not look like it. This is a And smile. I gotta get someone from before lockdown. Like, I didn't look like it. But I mean, I, I didn't, well that's when I was trying to get pregnant. So that, that's a little bit better. So this is, yes.
both bitches. Mm -hmm. So the picture on the left was in 2008. But I look a lot healthier now than I did then. <laughs> I think I'll pull out the stack out to uh, sit I've been trying hard not to like lick my lips and everything. Oh. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Don't touch him. No, I'm trying so hard not to. Yeah. But. <laughs> Show face. Is that a was in this. Show, right? Yeah. yeah. Tetralogy of Bellet. Oh, My oldest okay. daughter died from that disease. Are you serious? Yes. So I, mean, I know exactly what that is because I had a study about. Um, so I'm, I'm an ultrasound. I'm an ultrasound. Okay, good. So, so you do know. I do know. So I had to learn about every single disease that's almost out there, like the, the main the main ones, even some minor ones. And we had to do PEDS and OB. And we had to do the uh, children, that one. Um, yeah, thank you. 
We had to learn that one. There's another like truncus, arteriosis, and like all these other heart things that happen in kids or could even go into adulthood. Right. That was one of them. I ne you're the first. Yeah. Yeah. I never, I never met anybody that. It's very rare. Wow. It's very rare. You got to see nobody. Uh, you're really not gonna see nobody. No. Like, I, I'm surprised you know, because I'm always happy to, but that's what I do, I raise awareness, because people don't know, you know okay. what I'm saying? It's just like, um, so, in we had, can do a little dedication, I did do a dedication, or like a little bit about me, and at the end, um, I've made my dad cry. Basically, I put, um, my name is Catherine, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, I would like to thank my family, especially my wife for supporting me. Without you, I would not have made it. And to my father, never say you can't. My dad lost it. Really? He lost it because, I know I'm probably gonna have to explain this one to you. We, there's a disease that is only um, passed down. You can't get it any other way. It's either in your DNA or it's not. Okay. It's called myositis. Mm, I heard of that. Have you really? I, 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 I'm looking at rare diseases all the time. That, is oh, that rare? That, that's like a family I ran disease. across that. It is hereditary. Yes, that's what I was looking for, hereditary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so my... I look at a lot because of the trials I found it. Uh -huh. I started looking at others that oh, are wow. rare that nobody talks about. See, you're the first that, besides yeah. a medical professional, right. you're the first that... I've had medical professionals like, what? No. Wow. 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 That makes me go, hmm. Yeah. That made me go, for real. But, yeah, so that perfume, all of the sales, uh, profit, I raise awareness. So what I do, we have shows, um, they call the Fit Fest. Yes. And we raise awareness to the Fit Fest. And uh, I didn't know how to raise money for foundation. Right. You know, because yeah. I was into it, right? Yes. All I know is I found my daughter that I would tell the girl why she left us so soon. Didn't have a clue how I'm going to do that now. But I knew I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So, this oil, I went to Ghana and got this oil made, especially made for me. Oh, wow. You went all the way up to Ghana? Every, a trip, right? Well, yeah. So, everywhere, because I don't like perfumes in the store. Right. They don't last. I'm spraying, spraying, spraying. No, no, they don't. I hate that. So my daughter said, everywhere you go, I'm talking about how I'm scared. This lady following me to the world. I'm like, oh, you know, she's like, you're here in the world. This one, what are you wearing? That thing, my daughter right there said, that's it. You got to sell this. Because this is like, because I was calling her like, Oh, gosh, yes. So I'm like, what is going on? Long story short, lady wasn't where I am. Okay. 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 Oh, wow. It sells itself. <laughs> so I give that size away. Yeah. And then they end up buying the bottle. Buying the bottle. You feel what I'm You're saying? You're smart, <laughs> Look at you. Here's the carrot on the side. Yeah, is it good? Oh, you're Come out? Come back for more. You're out? Oh, you got, really got your freebie. Right. Let's have nothing. Let me tell you how much it is. Here you go. Here's a whole bottle. Lasted this long. You want to be a meat case after this? Turned orange completely. So I'm going to. I feel like a pinup girl.